Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Morgan, and bid you all welcome back to Elix. First time I've gotten to sit down and record this in a while. Uh, the episodes you've been seeing all week have been ones I actually recorded a few weeks ago. And just like I did not have time to record anymore, I also did not have time to edit them. But now that is all changing, and I feel like I should just put it out there now. Um, since by the time this goes live, I'm sure I will have done my celebratory live stream on the uh, 10th of... Yeah, the 10th of February. Um, there it goes. So, in a nutshell, what has happened is I have gotten a new job. And it does not require me to work 10-hour shifts at night anymore. So, I think uh, things will go a lot better. I will have a lot more time to record and a lot more energy to do so. And that's kind of been the big thing. Um, when I was working the night shift, I had a tendency to wake up several hours before work and just do nothing, uh, because it was hard for me to stay asleep until, um, it was time to go to work. And if I did, it was because I overslept. Uh, because no matter what, when I got home, I was just exhausted, and I would just go straight to bed. I wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, on the few occasions I did try to record, it was, uh, clear as day that there was a lot less energy and enthusiasm in my commentary and in the sloppiness of my play. Um, I also just couldn't do anything uh, in terms of errands at that hour to make up for uh, time on the weekends uh, because nothing was open when I got out. So with that behind me and with the day shift thing kind of starting, I don't know how regular the schedule, uh, my work schedule is going to be. It's probably going to require some flexibility but, in general, I think I will have more free time to be able to do this and uh, to stream as well. So, um, I'm going to set up a schedule of sorts. I'm not really going to go public with it until I determine that it's going to work. But, basically, I'm going to have certain days to record, certain days to edit, certain days to stream, and uh, certain days to sit down and play with my buddy Marl. Um, but all that is on top of being able to actually have a social life and run errands and stuff. So... Um, don't expect too much. I'm not going to have, like, daily videos like a lot of people do. It's probably going to be, like, four videos a week. Uh, for now, it's going to be two for Elix, one for Witcher, and one for Dragon Age. Until all that is wrapped up, and then the good old Gothic 2 stream through is going to happen. And, uh, all those VODs from the stream are going to be hosted on this channel, not my archive channel. Uh, for people's viewing pleasure and uh, any commentary or any comments they want to contribute. And then the formal walkthrough will happen. So I'm very excited at the possibilities that this now opens up for me. But for now, we have to explore this cave here. Very fortified looking place with a lot of reavers and jackals inside. So we gotta keep on our toes, stay frosty. Okay, it's good to know that those are there. For some reason, these ones actually look like they have detonators on them. Uh, don't seem to do anything. Alright, let's get my fancy lock picking necklace on. So that way I can open this bad boy. Simple. Too easy. And we have scrap scavenger pants. Large bag of Elexit. And some crap. Scrap scavenger. Is that what I'm already wearing? Oh, yeah. Minor pants. These are equivalent. I kind of like the appearance, so I feel like it matches the, uh... The shirt a little bit better. I don't know why Piranha Bites has a tendency to make armors these days... Where the stats are exactly the same. Like, I, I mean, it's kind of nice for aesthetic reasons. But frankly, I'd rather that the aesthetic stuff come with... Better stats. Okay. Well, we got mine crawlers down there, it looks like, so... I don't know if they can escape from there. I think we'll take a more... Was that necessary? We'll take a more careful approach on that. So the problem with the uh, radar is that it's showing enemies in, like, two dimensions, so I can't tell in terms of elevation where any of them are. So I don't know if we, we might end up walking into somebody by surprise. 
Why don't we take a stealth approach? That wav scared me. There's a fool over there. I can see him. Oh, buddy, you are in for it. Nah, man, we're working here. Kablooey. Haha, <laughs> you dumb dork. Take that, you fools. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm getting tired. You piece of shit. Ow. Uh, I'm gonna need it. Fuck's sake. Thank goodness for that. Oh, shit, another. Ow. God. Try one of these. Okay, now we got two of the suckers, so... Um, uh... Thank you. Alright. Now we have the advantage. What are you yelling at me for, Ray? Okay, well, he just decided to ignore this fucko. Ow! Oh, my goodness, the range on that bad boy. And eat it. Butcher! Well, that was fun stuff. Not the smoothest, uh, dispatch, but we may do. I was not expecting that guy to sneak up on us. I did not know that, uh, I guess I had found another way around. I think that, um, that one guy had a jetpack, so that's how he got the drop on us, but we, as usual, made it out victorious in the end. Oh, we got some bolts. Got a locker. Wow, what the heck? The locker's like embedded in the rock somehow. My goodness, this collision. Woohoo. Got some of that TP. A strong healing potion. Probably worth my time to look into alchemy at some point, too. There's a lot that I still need to do. How, why didn't this guy come after us after all that? What the hell are you playing at? Come, Louie! Oh. Now. <coughs> oh, he's got something bleeding. <coughs> oh. My goodness. <coughs> I'm doing that all wrong. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Whew, that was a close call. Thanks for distracting him, Ray. Alright, let me have some of your stuff. I actually thought that uh, explosion would have killed him, but... Another one there. I don't know why that one didn't blow up. Oh... Ah, so this is, um, back at, like, that factory place. A little crawlers running around. I don't think we got a good look in here. There's hardly anything usable in most of these ruins. They've been picked clean. Well, they've left some stuff. Take a look at this. Damage report. Building inspection complete, everything in order. Inspected the tank's leak found. Surveillance system did not report an incident. Requesting technicians to close the leak. Requesting information systems technicians to inspect the system. I hate these forums. They're a waste of my time. Well, you stopped doing them for a day and what happened? Shit all goes to hell and nobody knows why. Oh, Jesus! 
you sick fuck. Get out of here, you dumb fool. I did not see that thing sleeping there. Uh, 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 uh. Still after us, maybe we can uh, cheese it with the mines. What do you say, you dumb bitch? You man enough to come out of there? Yes, he is. Oh god. Oh god. What do I do? So, that creature's down to me, is it? Let's try and. Oh, he's trying to spit, eh? What the fuck? No, Ray, leader over here, you dork. Haha! -ha! Oh, man. Ray fucking tripped it because he's an asshole. Whatever. If Ray goes down, we're gonna make something work here. What on earth are you doing? You're just a sh stop blowing my traps. You dickhead! Don't hit it. Hit it. Take that. Mm-hmm. Stay away. Get out of the way. You asshole! Get out of the way! Oh god. Take that. Yeah, I'm on it. I don't need you on it. You're ruining everything. Woohoo! Oh, you think it hot? Oh my god, Ray! We got an oil barrel in here. You can't possibly fuck this one up. Get over here. So that creature's down to me. Come on in here. Aha! Still not enough. Try one of these. Oh no! Wrong button. Oh my goodness! Christ almighty. Oh yeah, what now? Cheese and... Got the cheese strats. Right, so now you want to come up here, eh? What the fuck? And kaboom! Yeah, that's how we do it. Except I think I just piss off more of them. Take that. I blow those up. Hey, he ain't spitting on me. I got more shit to blow up over here. Just gotta lure them. Damn, this is a rough place. I think they just gave up. I'll do it. Let's see what we got. How are they coming up here? Oh boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I forgot I have one of those. I don't have much ammo for it. I don't know, maybe he'll drop some and I can finally take those things on. Let's do this right, though. Oh, he wants to throw some grenades, I think. Oh, my Christ. None of this is going to plan anymore. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Ray just bit the dust. Okay. Frontal assault is a terrible idea. I don't happen to have more grenades, do I? Oh, I do. Put them on four. Oh, okay, raise back up. Where is the fool? Oh. Take that. Oh, dang. He is a tough some bitch. I don't know if I got the firepower for this. He doesn't want to come out either. He knows he's got the advantage. Hmm. Get him through the wall. Lone Tucker. Oh, goodness. I don't know if he even has a melee weapon, which is kind of the problem. Okay, yeah, he does. He has a chainsword. <coughs> problem is, he keeps backing up to the wall. I can't get him to come out with it. Let's try, uh... Roll strats! Oh, Aha! Fuck. He knows what he's doing. Stay here too long. Why don't you just shut it, your damn mouth? Oh my god, he got his health back. Alright, fucking hell, what do I do? That was a waste of all my damn grenades then. You piece of shit, what are you doing? We shouldn't stay here too long. Burn ya! I'll take care of this. Can you stop? This is bullshit. We shouldn't stay here too long. I can be up here. He'll switch to his damn sword. <clears throat> this fucking guy. We shouldn't stay here too long. Oh my god! We shouldn't stay here too long. Ray, can you shut your fucking mouth? All you do is complain. Body shield. Not do the trick. Why don't you pull out your damn weapon? Oh my god. This is some bullshit. Nothing else in here is as hard as this fucking guy. I can't believe he just ate all my fucking grenades and now is back at full health. Of course I didn't do shit. We shouldn't stay here too. Ray, shut your goddamn mouth! How? Why didn't that hurt him? It hit him last time. <laughs> why won't he put it away? It's like this guy knows he can eat his own fucking explosives. Well, and kill me. He will not pull out his goddamn sword. Uh, 
we fighting now? We've been fighting the whole fucking time, Ray. I don't know where the hell you've been. Hang on, maybe that's a strat. Yeah. Ow. Oh my god, he's not actually hurting himself. This whole time I thought he was damaging himself. I think we had better be careful here. Uh! Oh my god, this well, fucking this asshole. Why? Why won't you use anything else? You literally have a sword! This is so dumb. I can't even hurt him anyway. And there he goes and pulls out the fucking missiles! This is the dumbest thing. How is there one guy in this fucking place who is so fucking hard? Like, I trucked through everything else. I mean, with some creativity. I didn't just muscle through it, but... Seriously, nothing else in here is a fraction as hard as this fucking guy. Got a nice bar here. Don't seem to have a whole lot of patronage. Oh. Tucker's mom. That's a little morbid. Don't know if that's a prank or what. I think we had better be careful here. Tucker's journal, great. Need to get into the mind of this asshole, apparently. I have another photograph. We fortified the cave entrance as an added bonus while we were out collecting scrap. A group of berserkers walked right into our arms. Took the survivors as prisoners. Get them to do the grunt work. Have our... We'll have this place set up neater than the fort. Okay, so these reavers were trying to set up their own... Fort, I guess. With all the same amenities. But, uh... I don't know. They're... 
mine crawler things down there. Don't seem to really be in any kind of... What do you call it? Captivity. Guy having a nap there. Alright, well I guess we've done all we can do here because of that fucking asshole. I wasted a lot of potions just to fail there, and I, I should not have just been quick saving. Alright, well, whatever. That's all we got out here. I actually didn't have a plan of what to do after we'd finished this. So, I don't know, what do we got in terms of quests? Quests in this placey place. Fragile power. Yeah, you know, we, we should do... Yeah. I still haven't found that guy. Frank. I don't know where Frank is. We do need to find that. Need to find a drone. Alright, well... Why don't we just head back to the fort? Take care of some business. I don't remember who the, uh, like, general merchant here is. I could certainly use some potions again. What good? There we go. Take them all. Take some grenades. Alrighty, you got any potions? What good? Yeah. Well, you got plenty of grenades. Might as well. Those have been a huge boon. Alright, so the actual weapons merchant had potions. But the goods trader does not. What kind of shit is this? Oh, no matter. Where's there a bed around here? I gotta find... <coughs> I forget their names. Two guys we need to fight in the arena before Big Jim will fight with us. Uh, nice. Well, for some reason, this guy is green. Oh, because I have the grenades. About these grenades you want. So, are you going to get them for me? Yes, I'll get them. Good decision. So, bring me three crates, and then you can pick out a reward. You got that? Sure, I'll get them. Hmm, and I wonder if we can rat him out. I don't know if he's one of the guys William was looking for. Alright, well, there's Large James. Get something to drink first. Don't tell me what to do. Say it again and you will pay for it. I'll wait here. Um. Well, what the heck? Where are these guys that I'm supposed to be fighting with? You would think they would be in the proximity of the arena. I said I didn't really check it. Check around the sides, did I?
Mines. You are making no sense. It is not efficient yeah? for us to talk. Not now. Most this of them annoy me. All of them annoy me. This the this guy. Palace. That's where the decision will be made. Why does this guy have like the secretist voice? Gentlemen. Don't bother someone Maybe else. Later. So that guy has a separatist voice. Meanwhile, the separatists at the converter <laughs> do not. I still don't know where these fuckos are. Ooh. Well, who's gonna stop me? I found a beer for Big Jim if uh, I can actually give it to him. Hmm. Excuse me, where the hell are these guys? Oh, what was that? A hammer. About the Where the hell are they? It says I need to challenge them first, and I have no idea where the hell they are. Are you somebody? Go and find a trader. They'll talk to you. Get up, you fool. Where is anybody to fight? Nice hat, buddy. Hmm. A lot of just guards around here. He was having a munch on something. Can I step in here? Do you object? Okay, I guess it's kind of the barracks, as it were. You are not permitted to be here. All right, I'm sorry. Is that someone's special cubicle there? Zoop. But honestly. Perhaps. What do we got? Blake, Big Jim, Chloe, and Mad Bob. But it doesn't tell me where these other assholes are. So they actually have to fight. You weren't one of them, were you? You're the guy with the weird so, wife. Where did you get that claw? Oh. Can I take a look at it? Why? Do you want to look at that? Yes, please, show me. I got it in a den. Eden? You mean you met Kata? She must trust you if she gave you this. And if you have been trusted with this, maybe I could ask you about something. It would bring us a lot of Alexit, and I mean a lot. Oh? I did not expect this plot thread to stretch this far. And you'll trust me with this because of this claw? You wouldn't have one if you hadn't earned it. You're one of us, right? I mean, you're playing it shy, but you know what the claw means. And it means we work together. Share the loot and go our separate ways. Both with the shards to make life happier. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I'm in. Right, right. Let's do this. Listen closely. I know the Duke stole a pile of shards from the cleric some time ago. He's trying to bring them into the fort little by little without anyone noticing. We can take advantage of that to earn ourselves a profit. If that sounds good, then let's do this. If not, then just pretend this conversation never happened. Now, how did you find out? About the Duke's shards. How did the Duke get the Alexit from the clerics? The clerics were transporting goods and the Alexit between the domed city in Abessa and the Hort in Ignadon. The Duke got wind of this and set up an ambush. And it worked. The Duke made a fortune. 
But of course, he couldn't tell anyone about it. If he'd admitted it was the outlaws that killed those clerics, it would have started a war. So he hid the shards and denied the whole thing. And the clerics believed him? Neither side really knows if we could win a war, and besides, where's the profit for anyone? A full-out war and we'll all lose. That's why the Juke likes to play his enemies according to good old outlaw tradition. Keep them guessing, surprise them with your attacks, and hit them with a huge bang when they are least expecting it. So because the Juke needs to keep this a secret, he can't have word get round the fort and then reach the clerics. That not only means the Alexit is out there, but it also means the Juke can't raise much of a storm if all the Alexit suddenly disappears. True. So, what's your plan? The Duke is bringing the Alexit into the fort in deliveries with minimum muscle to protect it. Keeping it low-key is how the Duke is hoping to keep his Alexit a secret. And the next delivery of shards is due soon. I've thought about this, and the best place to intercept the shipment is when it's coming through the pass that connects Ibessa with Tavar. The pass will contain the convoy, and it's far enough away from the fort that the Duke won't know anything's happened there for a decent length of time. If you hit that convoy, take the Alexit, then I'll give you, say, 40% of that take. Now what, what's stopping me from, uh, taking the whole pile? Deal. Good. Great. That convoy won't know what hit it. We're partners now. Ready to go? Uh, I'll be back. I'm curious about this. I get the feeling I'm walking into a terrible, terrible mistake here. But, uh... I cannot help myself. Ah, who we have here? A new face come to Tavar. Yeah, he was still pissing. You looking for a challenge? I'm he just turned around and started pissing like on my shoes. Here, but now you're here. Welcome. I hope you bring yourself and the rest of us good profits. I bring profits to me and myself. Are you this friendly with every newcomer? Friendly is business, and business is me. I mean, look at me. Who would have thought a humble man like me would make it all the way to the rank of Enforcer? And what does it mean to be an Enforcer? It's a step ahead. A step above. You get the respect, you get to give the orders, you get the connections to get the money. And not just from the people on the streets, from the Duke, too. And you get the armor and the shards, too. <laughs> if you want respect, if you want a name, you get it in the arena. All right, so I guess you're one of the guys we're looking for. How can I earn a few shards here? Ah, you want some advice? Well, advice is investment, so how much you want to invest in my advice? That depends on what I'll get back. Oh, I know you're thinking price, but you should be thinking return. You should be thinking profit. But if you're too scared, well, winners understand risk. So... If you don't want to be a winner, walk away. Hmm. Well, that's a basic level of investment. It's not much. It's well, plenty. Think about what could help you. Have you challenged Ike in the arena yet? No. I don't know what the hell he is. Then there's an investment opportunity. Whoa, whoa, wait for it. That's not the advice you paid for. That comes now. You see, Ike is through, gone, career over. And that's because he's hooked on anything you can think of. So before you fight him, get him drunk. Just convince him to take a shot or two. You should get an easy fight and an easy win. Just don't let him overdo it with the booze or the stims. Dead men don't pay. So what other advice have you got? What would you think about getting rich at the expense of someone else? Hmm, depends on who we're talking. I'm already taking a stab at the Duke. I don't know if uh, I want to take it too far. I want shards in my pocket. Then I have some great advice for you. You see, I know a few people who've run up debts. They owe the fort favors. They have to do those or they have to pay. How does this help me? Because I have the IOUs signed, sealed, promised, and ready for collection. You show the IOU to each of them. Say they pass the payment deadline, and they'll have to pay up, no argument. Or, if you don't want the hassle of talking to the little man, you can sell the IOUs to a dealer for a few shards. <sighs> wow. I'm surprised I didn't have to work for that. Alright, what do you say we give this guy a shot? 
before we call it a night. I challenge you to fight in the arena. Me? You sure you want to risk that? You'll get one chance to fight me. You lose, and you're gonna lose. And the four will know where you stand for good. That's the way it works. So are you sure you want this? Yeah, let's do it. See you in the arena. Now there's confidence. I got quick saves, so I think we'll be fine. Worst case scenario, we just reload. But it is interesting that they're actually limiting it to one fight uh, this time around. In a lot of the older games, you had multiple chances. I actually don't know about Risen, though. That is illogical. Um, but in Gothic 3, you basically had unlimited chances, and you didn't even have to pay up every time. So, uh, well, let's see what we can do here. I'll wait here. Right. Let's see if you're worthy of the respect you want. Ready? Ready. Oh, you piece of shit. And down in front. Wow, that was easy. What gave me away? I don't know, you just being a pushover? Okay. Could we not talk when you were facing that direction? Came for respect and you've earned it. And my chance is gone. Big Jim won't fight me now. You need to fight him. Someone has to. That's the whole reason I worked up to this point. You've got to do it. Just don't rush it. He needs to be beaten. And he needs to be beaten bad. So you get ready and you beat him to a pulp. And I got something that can help make the fight easier. Oh, yeah? What's your plan? We can't talk about it here. We don't want to be overheard. Let's talk somewhere else. Hmm. I wonder how tough Big Jim actually is, because they're really you playing him up. You will pay for it. I'm with you. You go on. Well, I guess I'll just follow him. I think he's actually expecting me to chat with him somewhere. So what's this trick for beating Big Jim? Give me 500 shards and we're in business. You greedy some bitch. You gave me, you've taken my livelihood. So I'm gonna need something. And I'll give you some extra information as a bonus. The word is out that you want to join the outlaws. And if so, you're gonna have to fight Big Jim. That's a challenge for anyone. So my advice isn't just about money. This advice will open doors to a whole new future. You and your metaphors. All right. 500 shards and no more. Yeah. This speaks a champion. You know what you want and you're prepared to earn it. So, this is your way forward. Big Jim is a drinker. A big drinker. So you give him this to drink. This is his favorite stuff. He'll go for it for sure. And he won't know what's hit him. What is this stuff? It's a chem the Doc mixed up. It'll slow Big Jim right down so you'll be able to beat him. Trust me, he smells this, he'll drink it, and you'll be a step closer to being champion. Ah. So, it's kind of a reverse on the, uh, the tactic we had to use to beat Brogar in Risen. But, uh, works just the same, I suppose. It's kind of like I'm using the weakness spell in arena fights in uh, Gothic 3, but I don't think you're ever actually allowed to do that. What are you doing here? None of your damn business. Well, we still need to fight Ike, I guess. Gun and Ike, and I think that's all we need to do before we can fight Big Jim, but I guess we'll look out for him next time. Um, we're at the end of this episode here, so ladies and gentlemen, Thank you all very kindly for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you are not already, be sure to follow me on Twitch, subscribe to my Stream Archive channel. Links in the description below as always. Have yourselves a wonderful night.